This is from Minth.com. Acting Deputy Chief of Mission Kimberly Kelly and representatives from the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines Joint U.S. Military Assistance Group, JUSMAC, turned over a Scan Eagle Unmanned Aerial System, UAS, to the Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy, Vice Admiral Giovanni Carlo Bacordo, at Naval Base Heracleo Alano, Sangley Point, Cavite, on November 25. Acting Deputy Chief of Mission Kelly and Jews MAG officials delivered this BHP 710 million, $14.79 million, system to the Philippine Navy to increase the armed forces of the Philippines, AFPS maritime domain awareness and border security capabilities. The Scan Eagle UAS will provide intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. ISR, capabilities to the AFP 71st Maritime Unmanned Aerial Reconnaissance Squadron, 71 Mars, of the Philippine Fleet's Naval Air Wing, which will operate the aircraft out of Naval Station Leo Vigil do Gantioki, San Antonio, Zambales. 71 Mars is the AFP's leading unit for unmanned maritime ISR operations. Transferring the Scan Eagle system for operation by the Maritime Unmanned Aerial Reconnaissance Squadron represents the steadfast commitment by the United States to our partners in the armed forces of the Philippines, said Acting Deputy Chief of Mission Kelly. This new asset will complement the same kind being operated by the 300th Air Intelligence and Security Wing at the Antonio Bautista Air Base in Palawan, which is very close to the disputed areas in the West Philippine Sea that need our consistent attention, said Armed Forces of the Philippines Deputy Chief of Staff Vice Admiral Eric Cagaon, who was guest of honor and represented Secretary of National Defense Telfin Lorenzana at the handover. Department of National Defense, DND, Secretary Delphin Lorenzana said the program to acquire medium-range ramjet supersonic Brahmos cruise missiles is moving forward but getting enough funds for this remains a challenge. He made this comment when asked by the Philippine news agency, PNA, on updates regarding the plans to acquire the cruise missile which was jointly developed by Russia and India. The BrahMos program is moving forward but the challenge now is the funding, Lorenzana said in a message to PNA late Monday. When asked for an estimate on how fast the Philippines can get the missile into service, the DND chief said this is dependent on how fast the funds would be made available. Earlier, Lorenzana said they are planning to acquire at least two batteries of the BrahMos cruise missiles with each battery having three mobile autonomous launchers with two or three missile tubes each. The procurement would be via government-to-government -government mode. If acquired, the missiles will be utilized to fulfill the Philippine Army's PA, coastal defense missions. Aside from the PA, the DND chief said the weapons can also be used by the Philippine Air Force. Once the missiles are delivered, Lorenzana said the BrahMos will be the first Philippine weaponry with deterrent capability. Acquisition of a land-based missile system is under horizon 2 of the revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program which is slated for 2018-2022 and geared for the acquisition of equipment geared for external defense and has a budget of 300 billion pesos, 